Hey, 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 hey. I'm so excited, you guys, because I went to Brooklyn today. And while I did not intend on clothes shopping today in Brooklyn, I ended up buying some more African attire. I'm like, that was not my intention. You guys know how, like, you go to a store and you have in mind what you're going to get, right? So, you guys know I live in Manhattan. I actually traveled to Brooklyn today because I wanted to go pick up some items for my house and for, like, my arts and crafts. I did not have in mind on buying some African clothes, but you guys, I did. So, I am going to show you guys what I got. I'm going to try the pieces that I bought on. I'm really excited because it's different. Like, I think... The design is somewhat different. You guys will see. You guys will see. I'm excited. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's just let's just let's just go. Why why delay? Okay, why delay? So I have the bag here, and I'll be right back. In the meantime, you guys feel free to comment below. Of course, I do read my comments, so feel free to comment below and let me know how you guys are doing this Saturday. My Saturday was relatively um, eventful, to say the least. And after this video, I'm going to come back with another video and talk about this encounter I had today. Very interesting encounter. I will be back. Yes, 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 yes. Which one should I try on first? Hmm. I think I'll go with this one. but she gave me a discount so she only charged me um 100 i was like okay and when you guys see the next one you'll see that there that i have like a taste for kente this is considered kente design and she even said that she was like oh you like the kente don't you i was like you know what as i was picking these out i didn't even notice that i didn't notice that i was like Picking out Kente. So how it's made, I think this is what she was telling me. So the back, I think the back she said is like, yeah, the back is longer than the front. The sides are a little bit shorter. This is cute. Oh my gosh. I don't know like where I'm going to wear this. When I'm going to wear it, we shall see. I might wear one of these. 
in my next video that I'm going to do right after this. But I like... So yeah, the sides are much shorter. Like the side comes to like my knee. Each side. The front. And the front is like a little bit above the back. And then the back piece drapes almost close to my ankle. I like it. So yeah, it comes with a scarf. Yes, it's definitely made for an outing, but I'm like, most likely a date. But I feel like, you know what, I'll be getting all dressed up. As you guys saw in my other video where I got all fancied out in my African garb for the date that I went on. I think it was like back around Thanksgiving time. I'm just like, for what? Because that relationship ended. <laughs> we no longer talk. Because I ended the relationship, as I always do. Because, dude, it's just annoying me. But I like it. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. She's like, yeah, you like the African. Because she saw the way I was dressed. I was wearing my by fall coat, which I've gotten so many compliments on. And she was like, you like the African. I was like, uh, yes, because I like the colors. And ever since I got my first dashiki, I got so many compliments. This was back in Los Angeles when I was living back in L.A. before I moved back to New York City last year. Like, you know, I'll get compliments. And I get, like, even throughout New York, oh, my gosh. I get showered so many compliments. At this point, I'm just like, thank you. I'm like saying thank you like at least 15 times a day, you guys. Because everywhere I go, people compliment me on where I'm wearing and how I look. And I'm just like, thank you. I appreciate you. But I'm trying to figure out like what else can I say? So it, it feels like... It feels like I'm being redundant. You know, it feels like, okay, what else can I say other than thank you? I mean, people be, do be having, like, questions like, oh, where did you get it from? I don't know where I get my clothes from. So, by the way, these dresses that I'm trying on in this video, I found this new, what's new to me. It's not really a new African spot, but it's new to me. And it's on Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn. And... I'm glad I stopped in there because I actually had stopped to get some incense from a street vendor and I walked a couple feet after I left the um, that vendor and I was looking, I was peering through the window of this business and I'm just like, okay, I saw the African attire and so that's what drew me in and I walked in and I was just like, okay. And immediately when I saw the woman... Um, she spoke to me when I came in, but she was, like, um, talking to another customer as well. And then the other customer left. And then she started talking to me, and I'm looking at her. And I just, I knew she was from Nigeria. But I always like to ask, like, where a person is from, especially if I'm buying clothes from them. It just, I don't know, it paints a perspective. And before she told me Nigeria, I'm like, I knew it was Nigeria. And I'm going to talk about that in my next video, which is a very important topic. You guys, it is important. It's related to colorism. There's a lot of issues impacting not only African Americans, but Africans across the diaspora. So I'm going to talk about that in my next video. You guys, please come back after this video because it is really, really important. So I do like this one. All right, I'm about to take this one off and try on the next one. I feel like African attire is just underpriced, if you ask me. This is a good deal. I paid $100 for this. I'm like, okay. Okay, then. All right. Let's see what the next one looks like. I'm 
really nice lady though. But I gotta tell you guys about the encounter. Very interesting encounter. Very thought provoking encounter that I had today. know I love my yellow and my greens but I like all colors like even when I made the post recently about I don't like when guys ask my favorite color because I don't really have a favorite color I guess but if I had to choose it probably would be black this is a belt oh yeah What messages? He said, after these messages. <laughs> yeah, after these messages. I had to go on a commercial break. Oh my gosh, I love it. So I am wearing like a tank top underneath that I had on earlier, but button it up. Yes, I love this. And it has pockets. Oh, I love my pockets. I love them. All right. Oh, look at it. I love it. It's like it was made just for me, you guys. And this one was hanging up on the wall. On a mannequin, actually, against the wall. And it was the last one. And she gave it to me for $80. I'm like, okay. I like it. I like. And it comes maybe about four to six inches above my ankles. Like, pretty long. It's pretty long. Yeah, I think I might make my next video on this. I like it. You like it too, Corey? Definitely stand out. Oh, yeah, and it does come with a scarf. Or a head wrap. Call it a head wrap. African doll. Mm -hmm. I like the sleeves. I'm trying to remember on my other dress. How are my um? It makes me wanna. You know what? I'll be right back, you guys. I gotta go check something. Cause it makes me wanna think about to see how is it on my other.
I tried on reminds me of this. And the sleeves are somewhat similar. They're open. I think that's a style, African style, where the sleeves are open like that. Because, you know, it'd be hot over there, so you got to get some air up in that, up in those arms. Um, I like this one, though. Scrunchy. I wore this. I actually wore this on my uh, first day that I was telling you guys about around Thanksgiving. <laughs> Getting all dolled up or what. But, yeah, the scrunchy material, like, goes all the way down. It's fitted. So, it shows... Uh, my little shape. <laughs> but yeah, these are kind of similar. Just like this one I got. I showed you guys. So the sleeve is somewhat, somewhat open. My other pants I, got. I like this one too. I think this one, this one. It's kind of like the one I'm wearing. No, because it doesn't have the scrunchy material. I kind of like it from the bottom, though. But I do like the... I, I, yo, I love this one. I, the first one I tried on. I love it. This. I like this one. It flows. And she is a twin. She's a twin to the lady that I got these from. She's a twin. she um i met her sister who also has an african shop like a down down the street from where hers is on flatbush off of flatbush avenue and she wait this has belts but no belt okay whatever um and she said that her sister is a seamstress Okay then. Alright, alright. Yes, I love this. Cool design. Yeah, so this was 80. The second one here is was 80. The first one I tried on was 100. So all together it was 180. No tax. No tax at all. I like it. I guess you like the conversation that we had. It seems like when people find out like what I do professionally, they just be pouring all their problems out. <laughs> so she gave me um she gave me something free. She was like, no, it's for free. I'm giving you this. This is a gift because I like you. A head wrap now y'all I do not know how to do this I don't but this is an official head wrap I think because it's big and long so maybe I can try it now let's see let's see how close I can get to wrapping up my head she's like yeah because you have locks you know you can wrap your hair up she hooked you, girl. Oh, I'm just like, thank you. Okay, y'all, I don't know. I mean, I've seen videos. I wear it like this. Ha <laughs> ha, nah. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, y'all, I don't know. Let's see, can I look at the picture? Nope. I like the way they wrapped it on the picture, though. Made in China. Those are some cute head wraps, though, the way they did their designs. Uh, Y'all. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, I've seen people do it, but I don't see. I probably, this is how I would do it. I would just. <laughs> I gotta watch some videos. I can get 
get this thing right, man. Listen. Probably wouldn't wear it, though. I have a lot. Like, yo, I have a whole bag full of head wraps that came with my African skirts. Because I have a plethora of African skirts that I collected. Yo, listen. Uh. <laughs> but I don't wear my head wraps. I used to. I used to wear head wraps, like, back when I was in L.A. I stopped wearing it because I just like to show my hair and my dress. <laughs> oh. I need to give me one of those African zones. <laughs> I know where I'm going to get mine from, too. I'm going to get mine from the African Market in Harlem on 116th, Malcolm Shabazz. That's where I'm going to get. You say it look like I got. No, this ain't it. Uh-uh. Turn around. <laughs> no, no, that, that's not it, yo. This is not how it's supposed to look. It looked like it, but this is not. This is not the business. All right, I'm going to catch you guys later in the next one. Come back because I have something very important to talk to you guys about. Colorism.